Good morning, Busy Bugs. It's me again. I'm here with a new story for today, and it has to do with our new theme. Do you remember what our theme is this week? Yes, spring planting. Very good. So if you think about spring, hmm, what do we know? What do we know about spring? Yeah, it's a season. It's a season. Good. Oh, it comes right before summer. Another good answer. What else? What else do we know? Spring. Oh, and the first story we read this week, it says that spring and spring things change, right? Different things happen during spring. Okay, so I have a new story and I think you can help me read the title. You wanna help? Do you see any sight words? Do you see any words you might know? I see one. Wh when? That's not one of our sight words that we've learned this year, but it is a sight word that you'll learn when you get older. Ooh, what about this word? Sp spring. Spring, good, this season. And k comes. Let's read it together. When spring comes. Very good. So I'm going to tell you something about this story, which makes it extra super special. This story is actually written by one of my favorite artists. Do you remember my favorite? Oh, sorry, not my favorite artist, my favorite author. But my favorite author wrote this book. Do you remember who my favorite author is? It's Kevin Hinkies. Kevin Hinkies also wrote Chrysanthemum. Do you remember that book at the very beginning of the year? Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum was written by Kevin Hinkies. Let's see if this book is similar to that one. You wanna read it with me? Okay. When Spring Comes by Kevin Hinkies and illustrated by Laura Drozet. When spring comes, oh, those look like all different things that we might see during the springtime. I would love to see you draw some pictures of some spring things. Butterflies, umbrellas, birds, kites. Oh, I love it. When spring comes by Kevin Hinkies and illustrated by Laura Drogzek. Before spring comes, the trees look like black sticks against the sky. Do you know what kind of birds those are? Those are cardinals. They're beautiful. But if you wait, spring will bring leaves and blossoms. Have you seen any trees like this on your neighborhood walks? They're beautiful with all those pretty flowers. Look at the bunny. If you wait, spring will make the leftover mounds of snow smaller. We didn't really see much snow, huh? Unless you went somewhere like skiing, you got to see some snow. And smaller and smaller until suddenly they're gone. Before spring comes, the grass is brown. But if you wait, Spring will turn it green and add little flowers. Look how beautiful. And look, they're mice. Did Chrysanthemum have mice in the story? Yes. If you wait, an egg will become a bird. A seed will start growing. Look at this. That's what we're talking about all week long. We start with what? A seed, it starts to grow roots, and it starts to sprout up. Oh, and here, look, it's growing into a flower. Wow, so pretty. Spring comes with sun, and it comes with rain. And more rain, and more rain. Did we see lots of rain this past week? We sure did, right? That means that things are gonna to start to grow. We have to have rain for things to grow. Do you like mud? 
Do you like puddles? I hope you like umbrellas. That looks like so much fun. Before spring comes, the garden is just dirt and empty. Has anybody been helping mommy and daddy plant a garden? But if you wait, spring will push green shoots through the dirt to fill up the garden. I wish I had a garden like that. Wow, look, they're growing carrots, and maybe like green beans or some other green vegetable. And spring will call out the pussy willows and new kittens too. That looks like my cat Periwinkle. Spring can come quickly or slowly. It changes its mind a lot. I think we've seen that, right? We thought spring was coming, it got hot, and then all of a sudden, oh, we had to pull our coats back out. It was cold again. But when spring is finally here to stay, you will know it. There will be buds and bees and boots and bubbles. How fun is that? That looks like the best day ever. Look at all the kitties. Oh, oh and a dog. <laughs> there will be worms and wings and wind and wheels. We sure love all of those things, don't we, Pussy Bugs? You will feel it, you will smell it, and you will hear it. So look, like you can hear the birds chirping in springtime. You can smell the flowers in springtime. And you can feel the warm weather. Oh, I love spring. When spring is finally here to stay, you might think you are done waiting, but you are not. Now you have to wait for what comes after spring? Summer. Are you waiting for summer? Maybe so you can go swimming and play with beach balls and ooh, see fireworks and popsicles. Yum. 